Oh, yeah. Hey, dude, we have what here? And you top four today playing what? Trap tricks combo. Trap tricks combo. Basically, you're not doing the typical like trap tricks board, right? No. How many cards is your main deck? Uh, 40. All right, let's see your main deck. Main deck is typical three Pudica. Um, it's honestly my Ash mate. If they Ash this, it's completely fine. If they don't, I go even deeper. Typical. Uh, the Marmelo. Uh, Marmelo is just one card combo. Really? Honestly. Yeah, because you summon this, you get to Holotea, or you search for what you need to pitch off of Holotea. And you basically Sarah, uh, link this into Sarah, Holotea, and you start going from there. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Three Mantis. Kind of the same thing because on summon, she gets to search for this chick. So you summon her, link into Sarah. Special summon her, set off Sarah to set the whole Atea and get the gears go going there. Yeah. Um, we're going double Dionea. I need to make sure that I'm able to summon her from deck, more so in this deck than I think I think typical trap tricks decks, mm -hmm. just because I need a plant to link off with Sarah to go into my combo. Uh, double of her, just in case I brick the combo and I need to be able to <laughs> like normal trap tricks combo, maybe. Yeah. If I if I need a if I only get. If I get stopped and I can't actually go with my combo, I need to be able to do the normal trap tricks play, so I need to be able to trigger Sarah. Okay. And uh, so that's it for the trap tricks monsters. Yeah, that's it for the trap tricks monsters. Going into the uh, you know combo pieces, obviously, you yeah. know this <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> Sarah going into Rafflesia and just not worrying about Nib. Didn't get Nib today, but was afraid of it. <laughs> Now going into the little spice, we have <laughs> double lily, and right. single regulus. Kink, regulus, along with the fill spell. So I'll get into the combo when I get into the extra deck later, but this basically allows me to end on my Omni Negate, which is supposed to stop evenly, but unless they draw two, <laughs> whoops, happens, happens. Um, one Mardell. Uh, Mardell facilitates Ooh, Mardell. the whole. Yeah, Mardell facilitates the whole combo. It allows me to end on Apollosa instead of ending on a mediocre board. Uh -huh. uh, one field spell to search off of the Pudica. You only need the one. Onto the traps. Most important one. What makes the deck good? Yeah, that's quite ridiculous. Um, a little different is I still play the Shade Brigadine, just because if you actually draw both of these and you go into Brigadine first, you can still capitalize and get that extra summon off of the Holotea. Yeah. And on the off chance that I can't get to this, I want to be able to see a trap that I can activate turn one. Trigger Sarah. Yeah. Trigger Sarah, go into combos. Um, typical double uh, Floodgate. Playing double Nightmare. <laughs> Single, 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 just standard lineup. Being able to make sure I draw to pitch off Oletea or just setting up for the yeah. Also, matches. make sure like um, for Rafflesia, so you get yeah. hand trap. Oh, if you get hand trap, yeah, hand trap is the one. Do you like the lineup? Would you run any other the? I guess the searchable holes or set or set. I was thinking of running Void, but. I settled on bottomless instead just because I feel like it's better. Okay. Obviously triple imperm, triple evenly. Nice. So that's the main deck, right? Yeah. So that's the all the main deck. deck. This is where it gets like different. Yeah. Your triple. Ma mainly like a lot of cards. So standard Sarah, um, standard Curlia. Okay. A lot of people cutting this. I actually this ran into this today where I was actually, during the end phase, able to not break his board, but I finished off the board by summoning Pudica. Oh, because he's end phase, summoning one from the graveyard? Yes. Nice. And then the one... Adibus? Kind of helps Just, break boards, kill Yeah, him. breaks boards, go for OTKs. And here's where things get... interesting. Oop. So you played Jasmine. Yes. So, the whole concept with this is... And the whole reason why I need to play two of these uh -huh. is essentially getting to Sarah, triggering any of my traps that I can trigger turn one, summoning Holotea, and it really matters. You have to make sure you go in the odd spaces. Mm -hmm. Because 
you will eventually need to summon a Dionea, and then you're gonna link into Jasmine, pop the other card, summon the Mardell, Mardell searches for this, you go Therian combo, oh. and the way you get this into the grave is ending on Kapalusi. Okay. So that's why the double Dynea is so important. So what is like the end board? Oh here, let's go through the extra deck and I'll then show we'll, you the whole end board. Um, going on to the exceeds, typical. My bad. You're gonna get the double flazer. Double flazer, typical, you know, everybody plays it. This card is so good. Pingu oh, you play two pingus. I do. And I've, I, every game I actually went into two. <laughs> I actually did. Um, this actually made a Sword Soul player scoop. Because I ended on my normal board and I had an extra summon. And instead of making this, I made this. Oh. To make sure that I sucked up the monster that you pitch. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, just one for the OTK. This plus this plus the Link 3 is OTK <laughs> on its own. It's a lot of damage. One Rika, one Tree Beast, and then the Baguska that I never summoned this, this tournament. Alright, so go ahead and show the what you end on essentially. Okay. Right, so what cards does it take and then what does it end on? So, let me get these out of here. So what it takes is just basically that. And any trap tricks. Okay. Ends on. So this plus any trap tricks without an extra extender, just this and any trap tricks. Okay. Will end on. Yeah, turn this, turn this, turn this. Yeah, so end on Appaloosa. So end on Appaloosa right here. This with at least Strena attached to it. Mm hmm. At least one trap card of my choice, any hole that I want to set there with Sarah. Okay. And of course, Regulus. And that's just from two cards. Wow. Now, if I open an extender like Parallel Exceeds or the second Brigadine, that changes. Or if I open Pudica and get off the second Normal Summon, mm -hmm. I'll actually have Garden under here <laughs> to stop. The Not Lightning negate. Storm or yeah. the Book of Eclipse. And then if you have the extender, you can end on Rafflesia with this? Yes. I'll end on Rafflesia. Usually this in hand because I'll either search for this or it'll be in the yeah. grave. It's good to summon on their turn yeah. for like a Lightning or something. And it'll also end with Holotea in the graveyard. Ripertron. With. Pudica or Pudica or Marmillo for a disruption as well. Yeah, an MST or a banish. Yeah. So this will have three, uh, three negates on it. This will have either a monster or a spell negate, Omni negate, interruption, and then either banishment or MST. MST. Nice. And it'll have two trap cards, usually of my choice. That's pretty good. And then can we see your, extra, your side deck real quick? Sure. That's a pretty good board, actually. <laughs> Off of the two cards. Until you get double even lead. <laughs> we won't, once again, we will not bring that up. <laughs> um, I run the Ashes. I don't actually run them in the main, only because it's dead going first. I want to optimize to be able to make my board as hard to break as possible. This doesn't hurt every deck anymore, so I do play it in the side just in case. I uh, sided two Lancia just in case, Kashtira, evenly. evenly. Uh, I played two Kaijus, just Cash. just the two. Yeah. Uh, I played two Droll just in case shenanigans with adding or drawing. Hitting the pot is pretty good sometimes. Uh, double Book of Eclipse, or Triple Book of Eclipse, just again, problem cards. Bait out negates. Played the one feather duster just in case I was actually playing the mirror match or something. Or don't like, like lab labyrinth. Don't like yeah labyrinth. Don't like imperms. Um, I did side uh, time space just in case I needed it. Mm -hmm. If I was to change anything, I think I honestly would take these out for just oh, set of solemn judgments and. Like essentially make the board unbreakable and then you just set a judgment. Like, okay, I think I these not. would be better as Book of Moons. Mm -hmm. Just because 
I mean, Book of Moon does the same thing. It's usually only single problematic cards that make the problem. Okay, so probably like three Book of Moon and three Judgment. That's yeah. so you change. Okay. All right, well, thank you, Jorge. Congratulations on your placement today. Subscribe, right? Yep. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. Have a good night.